day one of the no complaining challenge is over can we say gratitude for that <laughs> sorry yeah day one wow um yeah i'll just wait a couple of a little bit here to see who all comes on um as you come in please say where you're from and then a dash and then your first name so that I know who I'm speaking with because a lot of times people will have you know like cutesy little usernames and not necessarily um <clears throat> excuse me not their actual names so that helps me to connect with you and if you're on the replay if you'll just tap the hearts to let me know that this is something that you find valuable it's a way that I evaluate which periscopes are helpful to other people so I'm going to wait just a little bit and we'll get started. Um, so I guess, well, I'm trying to think here. Oh, I see some people jumping in. Hi, hello. Come on in and introduce yourself if you feel led. Um, just let me know where you're watching from and then put a dash and then your first name so that I know who I'm speaking with. Um, just going to be talking about the first day of our 21 day no complaining challenge that I came up with after coming home yesterday from the infused uh, Ula Palooza in Las Vegas with the Ula guys. And if you're not familiar with Ula, Ula is basically a state of awesomeness where, and it's a way to keep your life balanced and growing in seven key areas of life. Um, and the Ula guys are Dr. Troy Amdahl and Dr. Dave Braun. Uh, Dr. Troy is also known as the Ula Guru, and Dr. Dave is known as the Ula Seeker. And then I also got to meet Ula Annie, which was amazing. So, real quick, I'll tell this story while we're waiting for people to jump on. Um, Ula Annie, I went to convention, and I was explaining to her how excited I was about Ula and the philosophy, and then the fact, especially for me, that it had a faith component. And she says, well, how committed are you to Ula? And I said, I'm really committed. And she goes, committed enough to go to Ula Palooza? And I was like, ooh, I don't know. It's kind of pricey. I don't know if, if I can do that or not. And she goes, she goes, okay, well, she goes, come anyway. And I thought, oh, okay, you know, we'll see. And long story short, I made it and I went. And so it's uh, pretty much as soon as I possibly could, I, I sought her out. And told her, I said, do you remember that crazy girl at convention? Like, I didn't figure she'd remember me. I mean, there were thousands of people at convention, both sessions A and session B. And she immediately knew who I was. And she recognized that I was one of the people that had had w mentioned coming, wanting to come to Ula Palooza, but wasn't really, really sure about it. So that was really, really cool. And I will tell you, if you can make the investment to go, it... I can't even tell you the progress I've made in one day in the goals that I set this this past weekend. I am so, so grateful and humbled that I had that opportunity. In fact, let me see if I can show you here. I'll double tap so you can. I'm in my car, obviously. I've got my Ula face and that green one underneath there. I don't know if I can make it zoom. Sorry. Um, the Ula face is... I am grateful, humble, and fully connected. And then the other one is the finance band. And that is, I am financially free and living abundantly. So yeah, so I put those on this morning because that's what I was working on. And then I also applied the uh, infused oils from Young Living, which is a partnership that they have with Young Living Essential Oils. So anyway, um, just real quick, I'm just going to, I guess I will go ahead and get started, and if people jump on, then we'll we'll take some comments and questions. So day one, not so great. I really I thought I was doing super super well, and then I had some challenges at work late in the day, and was looking at staying late, and just things weren't going quite quite right, and I lost my attitude of gratitude, and I said a couple of things that I and I set up some accountability with my coworkers, and they were like, that sounds like complaining to me. And I was like, oh man. And they were right, I was absolutely complaining. So it happens, tomorrow's a new day, right? 
day two. Excellent. So anyway, I hope you all are doing well and that you had a great day one. Um, if you didn't catch this live, feel free to, I put in there that I was periscoping. So feel free to comment on that post about how your day one went or how you feel that it went and what, if anything, you felt you could have done better. Um, again, that's on, for those of you that aren't currently in the challenge, I'm on Facebook and Instagram at Casey Paleo Girl, the letter K, the letter C, the word paleo, and then the word girl. And then on Periscope and Twitter, at Carrie Brewster. So anyway, all right. I hope you all had a great day one. And